stocks. I still don't consider stocks investing. I still consider risky because it can go to zero. I never want my investment to go to zero. Then you can go to you know oil, gold, silver, whatever you want. But this is the order. This is the order in terms of investing. First, investing yourself, knowledge, reading. Figure out what business you want to start and go start it today, tomorrow. Learn how the product and business is going to work. See if there's a customer, if there's clients for it. If there's not, cut the business off. Cut the business off. And then you start going outside. Outside, this is how I went through it. This is how I went through it. If you just start skipping stuff and say, you know what, I like oil, but I didn't read about oil, then it goes your money. Or you know, uh, I want to start a business, but I didn't read about business, then it goes your money. And don't worry about business cards and websites and stuff like that. Business is simple. Find a customer. That's all it is. This is simple. Find a customer. Find one customer who wants your product or wants your service. One customer. Doesn't mean they're gonna pay you, but just find one customer. Now you might have the potential to start a business. I started with one house. One house. People wanted that house. So I have a customer. Now I have multiple houses because I have customers. I see there's a business potential for it. So if you want to start a business, find a customer. Sure. I put stocks. What? Stocks. Stocks, stocks or stocks. bonds. Yeah. Or bonds. This one, oil, gold, or silver. Sorry, my chicken scratch. Yeah. But this, this, is the way, this is what you should follow. This is what you should follow right here. In terms of investing. Everyone have these? Okay, perfect. Now, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example of why, why real estate is one of the best businesses you should start. Why real estate is one of the best businesses you can start. If we look, if we look at it as a business, as a business. All right, not first, remember, your first house, the first house you should buy should not be your personal house. You should be thinking like an investor, an owner, owner. So I'm holding a seminar on real estate specifically. If people want to start and get you know, really deep into it, and we have signs coming up if you want to really come and learn about real estate, that's my business. But I'm just gonna give you something to leave with and maybe you can ask questions after. But if you look at a typical person, right, they buy one house. Right, one house. And this is financial education, so I'm just gonna go a little slow, but let's, let's work it out. I have one house, right? As one house, as buy one house. Does the house bring any income? Zero. Does the, does the house have expenses? Oh, hell yeah, of course it does. Yeah, plenty of expenses, trash, uh, Water, electricity, just everything, gas, oil, whatever you want, right? Name it, it has it. So is a house an investment? Is a house an investment if I buy it for myself? No, of course not. You guys are learning. It doesn't bring any income at all. Matter of fact, it's actually a liability. Yes. If you think about it. So if I buy a house all beautiful, wood and trimming and everything, but who's paying for that stuff? Yeah. Everything. I'm going and grinding, coming back to a house I barely sleep in. That's not investing. Sure, go ahead. Sure, I'm going to get to that. But, but, now let's say I buy two units, right? Same formula, same everything, right? Two units. I live in one, because I have to live somewhere, right? I live in one. That one brings the income. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. So I have income. And I still have expenses, right? Yeah. But some of these expenses are lower because my tenant takes care of some of these expenses. Yes. Now, is this an asset or is it a liability? Asset. 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 Simple. You guys are starting to learn the knowledge it needs to become wealthy. Just that, just that simple formula right here can get you wealthy. Simple. Simple formula. Now you can say, okay, yeah, but I have equity in my house. Mm -hmm. Yes, but well, how long is it going to take you to get that equity? Mm -hmm. 
five plus years. That's the average. Five plus years. You have to live there for five plus years to get any equity out of the house, any money out of the house. This house, I'm making money what? Every single month. Every single month I'm getting paid. Every single month I'm getting paid. Now, yes, I can take this equity and you know keep moving on, but here I can increase the rents so I can get more money. Increase my wealth. I could move out of one unit, the other unit, and make more money if I decide to. And which one's gonna have more equity? A two family or a single family? Of course. This is how owners think. Don't, remember, the first house should not be yours. The first house is business, money. I need income. I need another stream of income. If it's on a corner block of a main street, I'm putting a corner business right there so you see if I can get a yard sale every weekend. Increase the income. Sure. If you have uh, input percentage of the home, how do you do it to manage around the building? Oh, sure. Great, great question. Great question. If you do have one already, if you do have one already, it's it's not a bad thing. It's actually you're ahead of the game. You're ahead because you actually did something. You took some action and bought something. The way you turn this into an asset is first of all be humble, be humble, and say this is a business. It's not. It's not personal. All right. So what do you, what do you have? A two bedroom, three bedroom, three bedroom, and how many building it out? Two. Okay, great. So you have an extra bedroom. Extra bedroom, empty. What you need to do is Airbnb. <laughs> Quickly, today. Airbnb that other room, yeah. so you start making some income. Because hopefully now you have some income coming in, and reduce some of the expenses, and just turn it into an investment. Yeah. Simple concept. You have a basement? Yeah. Finish that basement. See if you can rent it out. Add more streams of income to that house. Increase, increase your income to that house. Simple. And if you have, if you have, maybe you want to fix it up a little bit too, also make sure because every will give you reviews. If you have bad reviews, you're not getting more people coming out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one thing. If you're already there, figure out a way. You might need to room up with somebody and rent the other room also. If you, like I said, stay home. At first, it's going to take. I'd say for average, average person to become a millionaire, average is ten years. Ten years. 10 years, but with the formula I just showed you, you can cut that in half in five years. Five years, if you really want to. If you stay humble and focused, you can cut that in five years. If you're really hungry, you can do it in three. You can do it in three years. With bad credit, starting from zero. Like I said, starting from today, you take enough action, you get enough knowledge, you can build whatever you want, as much as you want. But it takes time, it takes humble, and being knowledgeable, saying, listen, you know what, I do need some coaching. I do need to take a class. I do need to improve my knowledge in terms of this business right here that I want to get into. Like I said, you can't just jump in something, you'll drown. I, myself, I didn't just jump in, I got coached. I pay people to coach me. I pay people, to, I go to seminars. I host seminars, because I want to make sure this knowledge is here. And then I see the results. And remember, remember what I said, knowledge, Plus action, you know, success. Simple, simple formula. We have to have the knowledge. Like I said, I'm holding a seminar in terms of financial education, but also real estate specific. It's my business. You have to take enough action. I gotta go look at open houses. I gotta fix your credit. I gotta work with partners. Maybe you don't have credit, maybe you don't have whatever. I gotta take enough action to see the results that you want. All right? Thank you guys, I appreciate you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. I love the time for the questions. I have four minutes. Four minutes of questions, so please ask me questions quick so I can make sure I get as many as I can. Any questions? Don't be shy, it only takes one person. Uh, what, what Hold on, uh, let's just invite this. Hi. Yes. So, when it comes to stocks and buying stocks and investing in stocks, I mean, yes, I know we have to do our research. I mean, I've, I looked into it before and it's very complicated. It is. And they always say diversify and put it, everything on one stock and some people say, oh, invest in Israel like there's 
great company in Israel. I mean, it's just overwhelming. So, sure. what would you recommend to start? Um, so, in terms of stocks, remember, stocks are risky. They can go to zero. Just remember this. this is the first thing I want to make sure. And I'm not a CPA. I'm not an accountant. I'm not, you know, pushing anything. So, just remember, this is my knowledge that I have that I just help people out with. So, in terms of stocks, what I suggest is first thing is everybody get the Robinhood app. If you're gonna get stocks, get the Robinhood app. And I can send you the link, and so you both get a free stock. All right, so make sure you get my number. But the first thing is, you wanna avoid fees. That's why I'm telling you Robinhood. So if you're at Fidelity, E-Trade, they charge you $4.95 every time you buy and sell. Now we wanna keep money, not give it to people. So get the Robinhood app. Second thing, what I would say is, stock-wise, three, three. Three stocks, and don't just pick random stocks. Like she said, she's confusing. Which stocks to buy? Uh, Amazon. Exactly. So, what? Like, pick stocks that you feel comfortable with and you know about. So, for myself, I wear Nikes. I know exactly what Nike does. I know the business model. They sell sneakers. They sell basketball stuff. So, I know the business model. They're gonna be around for a long time. I buy Nike because I know it. I buy from Amazon because I have Amazon accounts. I buy from stuff that I know. Do not buy something you do not know. And the second tip I'd say is buy stuff that pays dividends. This is the third thing I'd say is, so pay three stocks, pay stuff that you know, that you're familiar with. Because three is easier to remember and to look up and research. And then also make sure they pay a dividend. A dividend is just every single month or every single quarter. You get, you get a little chunk change, a little change. Every single three months, every four months, quarterly, you get some change. Regardless of you all this talk, for 20 years, 30 years, we want to get that little drip every single month. We want income. We are searching for income. We want to be owners. Great question. And you know the Robinhood app? What's the website? The link to that Robinhood I'll give you my number so you can send it. Yeah, definitely. And please, we haven't signed up for the real estate course, so please make sure you sign up for the course. It's going to be, it's going to be intense, but it's going to be great. Sure. All right. Um, first, I want to thank you. us from moving forward 
or taking action is we may go into a business with the hope that the money should come quickly. And the money is not coming one month, two months, we just back out because we're in a hurry to make it. But we don't give that business enough time to grow. Yes, that's, that's so true. So true. That's why it takes average million to 10 years. You have, to, you have to give it time. My first property, I did not make money. I kept my job. My second property, I kept my job. My third property, I kept my job. My fourth property, that's why I looked at my boss and said, you know what? I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. You know, so just it takes time. That, and in Japan, this is one thing I want to really leave with. In Japan, every business, their lifespan, they're planning on is a hundred years. A hundred years. So if your business, if you don't think your business is going to be around for a hundred years, don't even bother. Don't think about it. Think like that. Think long term. Don't think about the first dollar. Think about the dollar in a hundred years from now. That's what I suggest. Can you get loans from like Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, like to buy a house if you're flipping a house? And also when you get in a house to sell it, it's a lot of work because you need contractors to fix it up and you need to, it has to be up to code to even put it on the market. And all that takes money to begin with. Exactly. So where are you getting the funds to do all that? Um, so she's saying where you get loans, where you get loans from? So if you already have a house, uh, this already skipped you, but if you don't have a house, there's programs out there to help you. So there's classes out there you can take to learn about buying houses. But once you take this class, you're eligible for FHA loans. FHA loans are probably one of the best things that helps people in terms of our situation. Is the big thing is they help you the down payment. Down payment for FHA loans is typically 3.5% down. 3.5% down. I can't do that anymore. I've used mine, but anybody else who has not bought a house, this is this is like gold. Everyone should use this. And don't use it, like I said, for a single family. Use it for a two, three, or four units. That's when you want to become smarter. So if you want to buy housing, I go first of all shop around to different banks you already have locations with, have relationships with. And I'd say credit units, go to credit units, it's more easier to deal with. But try to get an FHA loan, that's the first thing. And see what you qualify for, see what they need from you, and get those things in order. And then you can get yourself a home at least 3.5% down. Thank you. Yes. Oh, if you want to do business back home, yes. what type of business do you suggest we can do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> um, so, she asked about business back home. Um, I'll, 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 for myself, I would not do business back home unless I'm there. That's what I would do. But if you're going to be there, the best business I'd say is get into land business. Get into land business. Because at least that's harder to someone stealing from you, you know? Um, cell phones, all that other stuff, it's easy for people to take the stuff. They go. But land, make sure you get it right. Make sure the big area. Make sure it's, you know, it's growth potential. That's the biggest thing. And make sure it's in a path of growth. And then try to buy as much as you can, you know, because the money goes much further. And then go from there. That's what I'd say in terms of back home. Otherwise, other business is so risky, I'd rather you do it here. Do business here. So, um, guys, time is well spent. Last question, please. So that if you have any other question, he has a website, meet me here. Yes. Definitely. It's a great guy to chat with. Um, I understand that with more income, you get taxed higher. So how do you deal with um, the taxes? And also, how old do you have to be to sign up for your classes? Uh, my class is for everyone. So please come, bring people. Um, in terms of taxes, it's a great question. Um, taxes are one of the biggest bills you're gonna have in your life. Huge, huge. I, I'm real estate, I get taxed heavy. If I sell something, I get taxed heavy. So the best way to, to help yourself is through a business. It's through a business. Start a business, and that with those expenses, these expenses right here, I can filter them out a little bit. So my cell phone, yes, it's personal, but I have a business, I'm eager. This business helped me pay for my cell phone. 
and get tax write off in terms of my income. So I say the best thing for you is get a business and start start pushing through in terms of learning how you can use a business to help reduce expenses. And any other way, make sure you pay your taxes. Yeah, sure. Because it doesn't matter what business you start. <laughs> you want to get American Enjoy your business. You want to get American business. You pay your taxes, but start a business and help you tax the situation. And also get a CPA. Talk to a CPA. See if they can help you in terms of reducing yourself. That's the best way to answer. No problem. All right. Well, I'm going to do this.